Real quick before the video gets started, just want to remind you guys, our new Common Hype shorts are now live. I'm personally wearing the green and gold pair right here. Drew's got on the mocha and pink colorway. And man behind the camera's got one of the tees, one of wow. the two tees dropping. So we got this butterfly tee, we have the black butterfly tee, we also have the koi shorts dropping this week. So a bunch of items live for you guys right now. Next week, if you guys want early access and you're not already, put a little pop-up right here. All right, join the text message club. Yeah. And you guys get early access to our last week drop. Uh, again, we're on week three of four. One more week for you guys to grab stuff. And uh, well, we're gonna head over to the new store right now. All right guys, so we just came from the new store and now we are at the new store of the future for Common Hype headquarters. And that's what we're gonna label it as. If we look small in this frame, it's because this new store is three and a half times the size of our current store, just under 5,000 square feet. And right now it's just a big open square right now with nothing in it. And that's because we are basically building this from scratch. We're gonna tear off a bunch of stuff and it's gonna look completely different from what you guys see right now. But it already looks different from how it looked a couple months ago, but we kind of wanted to make sure it was cleared out before we showed you guys so you guys can get a true vision as we're gonna walk through the building right now and give you guys kind of the ideas that we have and the processes that we're gonna do um, in order to make it come alive here in the next couple months. So we're on a clean slate. We have had the building for a little bit and you guys know we hint at it all the time in the videos that we're back and forth to this building, but now we're officially here and we decided we're gonna show you guys everything and bring you guys along for the journey and hopefully you guys can take part in it and when we open the doors hopefully you're standing outside waiting to get in all right drew bry why don't you show them what we're kind of envisioning for the new spots get them get them going let the viewers see what we're seeing and what we're envisioning the doors are behind brandon we're not going to show you guys anything we're just going to let you guys know it is in tempe but we're not going to give out the location or anything um, for a little bit i guess we could start here with the actual flooring itself so this is the sample that we pulled this is going to be the tile for the whole building just on the sales floor and then we can kind of talk about what we're going to do on the other side of this floor but if you show them right here b each piece is different but overall when it's all together it's going to look um, pretty much that so we're really excited about the floor it's kind of like a light smoky gray you know brandon's favorite shoe is the light smoke gray mid yeah <laughs> so we took some inspiration from that to put it in the floor for the sales floor so this is going to be the front entrance the rooms to your right and left b these are going to be blocked off by walls, so we can start on this side. This is actually going to be my photo studio and my office. Um, so again, closed off door, probably going to have like a window inside the door. But this entire space right here is going to allow us to level up our content, not only on YouTube, but more specifically on um, the marketing that we do. All our emails and texts yeah. and product pictures and stuff for the merch. So You guys saw the, what we were able to do in a studio setting for the lookbook. We're basically going to have that access to it 24-7. Anything Tommy brings in a shipment of shoes, he's like, I want good pictures for the website for these. Boom, we're going to get it up, send it to Drew. Drew sends it off to you guys in the emails, the website, all that stuff. So this is just going to be a really cool space for us to have access to. Um, and it's going to allow us to level up the content, which is one of the things that makes us stand out as a company. And we really value that. So we've sectioned off, um, what is this, like 700-ish square feet? Yep. Maybe, about. maybe a little less, maybe a little more. Um, but that's gonna be sectioned off on this side. We're gonna get into more details of what's actually going into each little room um, kind of as time goes on. So again, if you guys aren't subscribed, subscribe to the channel, turn those notifications on because for the next couple months, we're gonna be giving you guys constant updates on what's going on in this building. And again, hopefully you guys can be part of that journey. All right, on the podcast room. So same thing, it's gonna match the same exact side that Bryson's office and creative space will be in. And this wall will be up here too with a little window to see in. This is actually gonna be the full on podcast set. We haven't really figured it out 100%, but we're gonna have an idea of just like little podcast set right here in the corner and this also doubles as like a meeting room or if we ever need it to film lots of great podcast guests coming huh yeah. yeah both of these spaces allow us to continue to level up in the content that we're already doing we're really happy with everything that we've done with content so far but we know we can take it to that next level and i think this is going to help us honestly jump skip a couple levels yeah this space really helps us we're limited at certain yeah. points so. we're very capable of doing a lot more than we currently are but just the space we're in doesn't allow it so no excuses basically once these walls go up um so yeah again content uh, for the podcast and we can also film so much other things we can do a lot of investment videos in here as well if you want more of a sit down setting um, maybe a couple whatnots well how maybe a whatnot or two so now we're going to close in on this side this is going to be the main sales floor B, give him a little let me get out of the frame just give him a little <laughs> Cool. So the building that we actually ended up with came with these kind of curved walls. You guys can see this ceiling um, attachment is circular. And so we're going to keep that entire theme. If you guys can see the back of Drew's shirt right now, this new logo, the CH logo, circular. 
very, very purposeful. And when we did that, um, this is going to be the new logo for the new store because this whole theme is very circular and we ended up deciding to keep it. So if we walk over here, both of these shelves on either side of the store are going to be symmetrical. Um, we're going to knock out probably the top part of this and maybe some of the bottom, but essentially we're going to have shoes all the way across. We're going to have custom shelving with LED lights in them. This one is going to get knocked out. So we'll basically for every two cubbies will be shoes. And then we're actually going to leave one of these middle cubbies and display our own clothing line um, inside of each one, which is going to be super cool. So just imagine Paisley Collection right here, Cherry Blossom on the other one, and we're just displaying our own stuff around the store. Um, we're still going to continue to have Vintage, um, Essentials, v -Lone, Supreme, all those other brands. They're going to be kind of sectioned off into clothing racks that we're going to do over here. We're really excited about that. Going to have some benches right here um, for when you guys are trying stuff on. Probably some mirrors. We'll strategically place some mirrors across the place as well because you guys are going to want to see yourselves in whatever you're trying on. One or two connecting clothing racks in the shape of the circle to keep the flow of everything really nice and those are going to be across on both sides as well so there's going to be plenty of room for inventory, plenty of room for us to grow into as well which is really exciting because we're here for a while. Oh so the middle guys so we've gone back and forth on a couple of these ideas we had this crazy idea to do some glass from ceiling to floor which is doesn't work out because it's just not in the budget because it is huge. But we came up with a little alternative, and you guys have seen the glass cases we have in our store currently. But we're gonna actually have custom built ones that fit the circle, like right where I'm standing, to about half the circle. So, all this, the one big circular glass case here with a couple shelves all LED lit, kind of fit the vibe of the store. So right at the front, when you walk in, you'll be greeted by two beautiful common head guests. Maybe two Just of these like guys. us. You never know. Welcome in, all right? Right here by the counter. So, we'll have two counters. As you guys know, like grand opening in some of the bigger days, it's really hard to go through one. It's just convenient to always have two. And then the back of the horseshoe will actually be a swing door so the employees can get back and forth. So that swing door will lead them out the back and we'll explain to you guys in a minute. Um, Brandon and Tommy are gonna get into it. But this giant counter also allows us to be buying off to the side, as opposed to when you come in store now, when you wanna buy and Tommy's trying to check someone out, you're kind of interfering with everything. So it allows plenty of space to do that, plenty of space for our sales associates to show off the shoes in the case as well, um, and also be on the floor helping people. Like we said in the last video, we wanna continue on the customer experience and what we're able to bring you guys and offer you, not only when you're ordering online, but also in store. So there's a bunch of other factors that we already have locked in right now for you guys once we're in this new space. Those we won't share with you just quite yet because we wanna make sure they all fall in place before we say it out loud because with our luck, it won't go through. So um, just know that there are a bunch of other things that we're gonna be doing to make the customer experience even better. I know a lot of you guys come out of town. I was in store yesterday and we actually had some people from Switzerland to come out of their way. They're doing a tour of the US and they stopped by the store. So when people are coming out of their way, whether it's from a state over, a zip code over, or an entire country, we wanna make sure everyone's getting the same customer experience and that they're leaving, even if they don't buy anything, they're still leaving with, you know. Maybe a picture or two. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Come on. Drew, show them the shirts you got on real quick. Ooh, real quick, the brown and pink shorts on that are actually dropping right now. They're live on the Common Hype website if you guys go hit the clothing tab. Oh, actually go hit the Common Hype tab. You got all the selections under there. There's the ones Brandon's wearing, the green and orange. Wow. With the front text basic logo, the brown and pink, the koi fish tan that you've seen Bryson wear, and the white and red butterfly tee, and the other black and blue butterfly tee. So that wow. whole collection is live right now. Click off this video real quick, go purchase, and then come right back so you yeah. don't miss anything else. Also, I want you guys to know, you're probably wondering why is the ceiling purple? It's not gonna stay purple, that will get changed. We're probably gonna do white up there. Gonna have all new lighting because you guys know how much we're gonna be filming in here. We're gonna make sure the lighting is A1. Again, this side is just gonna be symmetrical to that side on this side. So where I'm standing right now is where both of the walls of the shelves end. And this is where a giant wall is going to be put up and that's gonna separate the sales floor um, from the back room, which Tommy and B are gonna talk to you guys about right now. And if you guys are new to the channel, my name is Brandon. Uh, I own Common Hype. Tommy's our general manager for all of our stores. Bryson, he's also a part owner and he's our videographer. And then Drew is our marketing director and uh, manager of many things. The idea back here is that, first of all, I really wanted these ceilings to match the sales floor. The issue with that is going into all that ceiling stuff and messing with that is really, really costly. So uh, it's okay. These are still 10 foot high ceilings. We didn't drop enough shorts. Yeah, we didn't drop enough shorts for that. These are 10 foot high ceilings, which is great. But just kind of looking at it, this is huge back here. I mean, half of this space in the back room right now is about the opposite from here to that wall is all we have right now. Right. And our back room is big. This is, yeah, this is our back room right now. And now we're expanding That's generous. It. Including a bathroom. Yes. <laughs> so the idea is on this side, since it's bigger and the bathroom is going to be in that corner over there, the idea is to have our storage slash warehouse slash shipping area be right here. So imagine shelves 
all across this wall, coming all the way back here because this door is bolted shut. We don't really have any use for that. And then basically shelving coming down the middle, just maybe one or two just long tables, Work tables yeah. for shipping and doing all that stuff. And currently in our current setup, shipping and just doing all that stuff is sucks. A little folding table. You're just on top of each other. Yeah. yeah. You guys saw in the last video, we just had this little folding chair table that we were out on the sales floor shipping out stuff. So that's just really not ideal, but we can only do what we can with the amount of space that we have. So now we have no excuse. Everything's gonna be perfectly laid out. Hopefully at some point we may have a warehouse manager, you know, that manages all this, a shipping manager. Or I foresee because this space is so big that anytime an employee needs a shoe, you might even have a walkie talkie to the back. It's right. like, hey, I need the shoe. So I, I foresee someone being back here at all times, just grabbing pairs, you know, whatnot, shipping stuff as it comes in, you know, we, we will be shipping right. much quicker than we do now. Right. Usually we ship once, twice a day yeah. um, in bulk. But I mean, if we have someone back here at all times, we could definitely be having someone shipping. Oh, wow. Even when we intake items, Items from incoming yeah. deliveries like this is where we open them this is where we sort them this is where we get them in the system i'm assuming there'll be a computer somewhere dedicated just for shipping out labels and stuff so there's a bunch of stuff that we envision we just don't know yet until we actually get the shelves up and we figure out how much space and is left this, up there. once this wall's up we'll be able to do so right exactly and we could also utilize the back of this wall for stuff as well if we wanted to put racks and stuff on this back wall we can still use them. go stand stand where the wall's going to be so the and i'll stand be, on this back wall yeah i mean there's a lot of room but it's going to eat up because we have a ton of stuff that we need um and even with all this space i mean it wouldn't surprise me if we still need to to house stuff in a storage unit or wherever it is there's just gonna be so much stuff that we have um quite honestly we're, we're looking at all of this we're thinking about security cameras and just having the, i mean this place is gonna be locked down to the core fort knox type. yeah fort knox yeah so i actually really like this because it's concrete brick yeah. So you can do murals on this back wall. You can do a lot of cool stuff. The issue is you're probably not going to see any of it because the shelves are going to be there. So we should get a fat head of you. Yeah. No, I, I'm good on that. Hundred percent, I'm down. Going on this way now, Tommy. Before you got here, we were talking about this. So the bathroom is going to be right here. Now, when we first came in here, that bathroom kind of wrapped all the way through, and they just kind of closed that off, which I actually like more. But the envision here is we have in this store at one time, any given day, myself, Bryce, and Drew, and Tommy will for sure be here. So that's four people plus some sales floor associates and ship shipping guys. I mean, at any given point, we'll have seven to eight employees in here at, at any at one time. We want to kind of dedicate a little break room and not so much a break room, but just an area for them to, to take a break, to grab water, to go eat their food or whatever. So I'm envisioning we build a counter right here with the fridge in the corner, put a microwave on top, maybe even build some like, you know, Ikea lack shelves type thing where you can put snacks and stuff on top. We'll get like a water jug. I um, mean, maybe we'll have an allocated budget for break room stuff where employees get, you know, we spend a hundred bucks a month on Gatorade and snacks and stuff. And once that goes through, then they have to bring their own stuff. But we always want to, uh, our employees to have water at all times. We'll give them custom common hype hydro flask. They can come fill the water up back here. And that's just an added perk to, to kind of work in here. Right here, we were talking about putting some office space. Now tell me your thought. If we're gonna have the break room kind of over here in this corner, cause whatever we want, we want it out of the way, mm -hmm. right? We don't want the break room by the chipping. Obviously we don't want yeah. it. So what if we could do a couch right here, put a rug down, put a TV on, and just have it like as a chill area. Cause I know there's gonna be multiple days slash nights where we're gonna be here before we open, before uh, and after we close. Like we're just gonna spend a lot of time here. So that could be something where we utilize this space if we wanted to kind of add to that break room, just kind of have it like a, a mental getaway from the rest of the stuff. Could be that, could be office space. We haven't really decided. We're just kind of throwing out ideas right now. Yeah, we're thinking about cubicles. Well, that, it, those will be somewhere. It might so, just take yeah. up too much space. So the idea is for the cubicles, because myself, I need a desk, Tommy needs a desk, Drew needs a desk, and then a couple more people who we may hire, they need their own desk to be working on the stuff we need them to work on. So if that could be tucked away in this corner over here, I'm not sure. I don't know how electrical works because you gotta put some outlets, but it may be hard to do that on concrete brick. We have that. This is gonna be really open. So ideally, if we wanted to have meetings for our staff and everything, we could put a long, table going across right here have a mobile whiteboard that we have to draw and have our presentations and stuff but um kind of up in the air we don't know exactly what we want to do yet do you think of anything while we're standing here when you guys were in vegas chase his back room inspired me i really liked how they slid like that we could somehow do that here we would look into it um if not i have an idea for some shelves that i think fit one shoe box on one side we can make a divider down the middle and then another shoe on the other side and then create kind of like rows and sections like we have now and uh, do it by size to make it nice and easy but um i'm sure uline has something like that yeah I, I, I meant to bring a tape measure too to kind of see what we could do but um yeah it, it's gonna be cool i was really inspired by chase's back room so maybe we'll have something like it if not we'll have something very efficient because that's what i'm all about so we do want to mention we are going to be hired it's that time where we're going to need people to 
help us run the store and we're gonna need specific roles coming up. Sales associates, warehouse people, whatever it is. So if you guys are looking for a job and you're in the Arizona area, maybe you wanna move out to Arizona and just come work with us. I can't give you that much money, but no. We can, we can pay you in laughs. Yeah, we can pay memories. you in laughs, memories, and do all that. But no, obviously we're still a small company, so everybody's just kind of building the way up within the company. But I think it's cool to be part a part of something and you're kind of just in the journey of seeing this entire company grow as it is. So if you guys are looking to uh, apply for a job, be sure to follow us on Instagram at Common Hype AZ. We will post a form on there, whether it's a type form or Google form or whatever it is, where you can submit your application to us and then we'll personally look over it. And we are looking for really good people. And you don't, as long as you're 18 and uh, you can work. Are you a citizen? Self, self motivated? Yeah, self motivated. And you, yeah, well, that helps. Yeah, I don't, I don't even need you to have retail setting. We can we can help you out with that. But if you are wanting to grow within a company and hopefully get a higher role at some point, this is the job for you. So. But Tommy, don't mess around. Don't get it twisted. Oh, no, we read those applications. We take them pretty seriously. And taking an application before, we had 70 responses. We called four of them because we were genuinely picky. So. And only one of them lasted. And only one of them lasted. Yeah, it's Alyssa. She's still here. She was actually the first person I called. She was the 70th submission and she's and she's goaded we'll, yeah. so we'll, we'll show you more of Alyssa because she wants to I think she wants to be on the channel a little bit more which is great and now we have photo release forms she for everybody do. so we got that all situated but yeah, yeah. Alyssa is awesome so I can't wait for you guys to see more of her because she's really good at what she does I know she's gonna grow within the company former military and like she's she's the real deal anyways comment down below what you think of this I think that personally you know Bryson and I have been following Christian Guzman for a while and this is a lot of what well, the inspiration where we get is because he just films everything every single part of, of his life and what he's doing and what he's building with Alpha Leads and Alpha Land and all that it's just it's pure inspirational and if we can kind of tag you guys along kind of that similar journey that he's doing I think it's more relatable and I think you guys really love the stuff that goes on um, in the back end even the shipping process that we had in the previous video that we just posted and how we package our stuff there's been a ton of comments like we really want to see more behind the scenes stuff so well, you're that's gonna what get you guys it. want i know these videos don't do like numbers like the cash out videos do but the people i know the viewers watching this right now you guys specifically clicked on this because you really support us um and we really appreciate that but let's get back to the store we're going to finish out this video with some unboxings um and some more stuff that we're doing that's a shot. all right ladies and gentlemen we just came back from the store and i just remind gentle reminder comment down below because you can win 25 bucks and we're generally curious to see how you guys like the store so make sure you comment down below. You know, tell us your favorite part. Tell us your favorite fit on it. Or I don't know, just comment something. We need a little bit of feedback. The unboxings, me and Brad behind the scenes, you know? Yeah. It's been a minute. It's like old times, you know? Yeah. We're going to start it off right with my boy, uh, Yovani. All right. I don't know what he sent. Looks like a return label. So we're going to put that one right <laughs> back. Okay. Fox here to Brendan Yamamoto from, doesn't say the name. All right. Why'd you say his name like that? I didn't, I just read it how I read it. <laughs> A lot of red boxes. Could they be early pairs? Could they be black and white? I don't know. Black and white, Steve. <laughs> GS black and whites. You know we need more of those. We don't, but you know, we need them. This is from Spain. Put the camera down real quick and let's look. All right, so you guys see this nice little package. You can't see the front of it because this is going to be for a little brand deal later. And you guys got to stay tuned for that. Make sure you sub to the YouTube channel so you can see everything we're doing. Not only this store, you know, the brand deals, you know, the price fits. I don't know, everything. <laughs> Me making a joke or two, I put that in the wrong spot. All right, for my boy, uh, Queen Stop Sneaks, all right? Looks like Brandon bought us some fitted. Or maybe kill a hype, I can't tell you. Hello, the Common Hype team. You guys are hard workers and came to mind while t thinking about this gift. Oh, it's a gift, Brian. I'd like to give you guys some pieces of my first drop of my clothing brand, Created Superior LLC. You have inspired me so much, and I'm grateful that I can do this. Today, I gifted two Snack Max. I designed in universally blue, light gray, and royal blue with the color brim. Hope I said that right, lol. I know everyone's don't wear snapbacks, so if you like this gift, Give it to anyone. Please continue to thrive and prosper in your journey. Yeah. All right. Thank you very much. Pretty fire. 3D print. Created Superior. Pretty fire. Good quality too, bro. I feel it. Nice hat. Good job. Well, we appreciate that, Created Superior. How often do they send us free stuff and it never gets shown? Not often. Really? They show everything, I think. I feel like Steven's got a, a, a box of free stuff in, at his house. Oh, oh you, you literally see all the videos, so. <laughs> and someone in the comments, Drew, said that it looks like you slid in mud. Just your chin. <laughs> <laughs> really? Slid in mud, yeah. <laughs> All right, got a nice little pack here. Oh, yeah, we don't see these very often. A and a half W, seven men's. Oh, sick. Just got rid of those. I totally read that label on. I thought they were the coconut milk. And then another one in a seven W. So if you guys want those, you guys can shop those online. CommonHypeZ.com 24 7. You can also shop by your size and style. So make it easy on yourself, right? Hey guys, greetings from Turkey. I can't place a PO. Sorry for that. This is our approximately 63 pair deal with you and Vic. Thanks for your service. Thank, Thank you, for, you your for your service, service sir. <laughs> Five wide black and white dunks. Looks like we got some more GS ones. 
Our turkey plug really holding it down for us over there. Yeah, right? it is. So more black and white dunks. Looks like we got mostly all GS sizes. You remember where to shop them? Comment at bz.com or just go to the description below and check out everything we got for you. Cause Brian's got multiple links. You got links to the text message club. You got links to everything. All right. All right. Let's see what we got in here. Boy Dane right here from Hawaii. Brandon's been buying these up a lot cause they're very low right now. And they're a shoe, a Yeezy 350 that always moves. No matter how many times they restock, everybody has a pair of zebras, even Bryce. Right? That's, that's not true. <laughs> All right, and another overseas package um, from Australia. Chicago. 75th wow. anniversary. Looks like we got a full pack of these, size 10 and a half right here. Let's see what other sizes we got. Mostly 10, 10 and a halfs in here. That's all we got. Let's see what's in this one. Looks like we got a full size run of those, so you guys know. You guys shop those at commonhypeasy.com 24 seven. Maybe I'll even throw them on the front page and make it easy for you guys. Wow. And just a reminder, before we wrap this all up, the week three of our collection is now live, so make sure you guys go commonhypeasy.com, hit the common hype tab. There's categories too now, so I made it easy. There's hats, shirts, and shorts. So if you guys just wanna shop those specific items, you can. And there's socks. Three packs of socks that come individually packed. We have black, gray, and white, so you guys can have those onto anywhere you have at commonhypeasy.com. And that's gonna be it for this today's video. You comment, like, and subscribe. And if you comment, you also get a chance at $25. And you know, if you comment, you may make Steve laugh. Because Steve does reply to the comments now. So. I like the guys who send uh, random facts. I enjoy those. Comment a random fact for Steve. Yeah. I can't wait to see those facts. But again, thank you guys and we appreciate you guys as always. And that'll be it for today's video. Make sure you guys stay tuned for next week because Brian will be hammering out at least three event videos and who knows what else more. So stay tuned for that. Follow us on Instagram, TikTok, and YouTube. Stay tuned and we'll see you in the next one.